When I was a child, I lived on numerous reservations across the United States. I would always go to dances and I'd always watch. Would catch like a glimpse here and a glimpse there. And as soon as they danced, I would go home and I would draw them. The, the vibrant colors and, and the, uh, the sudden movements and the pace and the flow of the materials. I would try to capture the motion. What indigenous people have to do is they have to operate in two worlds from birth. They obviously have to operate in their world, but then obviously in the mainstream America as well. My name is Eric Tipicani. I'm a professor of history at California State University Fullerton, and I'm also a professional artist. The overwhelming majority of the subject matter in my paintings is uh, predominantly Comanche uh, themed. Um, I use a lot of red and I like the, the bright yellow and, and the blues of so those colors figure predominantly into many of my pieces. Movement, color, all of these things are a metaphor for me for a very rich, vibrant, living and breathing culture. Horses were extremely important to Comanche people. We procured them from the Spanish and then we ended up breeding them and then we controlled the entire trade through the southern plains all the way up through the northern plains. Uh, Comanche children were taught to ride the horse beginning at age three. Uh, Comanche women were just as proficient as the men on horseback. I like to feature parts uh, of traditional Comanche culture mixed in with uh, contemporary imagery you'll see uh, Comanche men with headdresses uh, wearing suits and ties and, and once again the whole idea here is that we're not a remnant of the past, we're not from some bygone historical era, we're doctors, we're lawyers, we're professionals, you know, we're professors as well.